In this tutorial, we will look at an example where we create an urban model. The script generates the two white towers at the center. The model is geolocated on a site in Singapore. In this video, we will give a brief overview of the flowchart. In later videos, we will look at some of the code in the nodes. The geolocation node sets the geolocation of the model. This includes the latitude, longitude and north direction of the Mobius Cartesian coordinate system. In order to be able to visualize this geolocation, we have created an extra node that generates two arrows aligned with the x-axis and y-axis. When we look at these axes in the geospatial view, we can verify the location of the Cartesian coordinate system. The two towers will be generated on this site, located between North Bridge Road and Beach Road. In order to generate the surrounding context, we import some geospatial data using GeoJSON files. In this node we import the building footprints. Each footprint has a height attribute. In the next node, we then extrude each footprint by the height attribute. In this node, we import another GeoJSON file. In this case it contains a set of point objects that represent trees. These point objects also have a height attribute. In the next node, we generate some simple representations of the trees. The trees have varying heights, based on the height attribute of the points. The next node imports a GeoJSON file that contains the road center lines. Here we can see all the context data merged. Next, let's look at the two towers with podiums. The skeleton is very simple. It consists of four polygons. The two larger polygons represent the footprints of the podiums. And the two smaller polygons represent the footprints of the towers above. The left node generates the two towers. The middle node generates the cores and the right node generates the podiums. The HUD node merges all the tower parts and also does the floor area calculations. In the top left corner of the viewer, we can see the results of these calculations. If we look at the dashboard, we can see that the script has a number of parameters. These parameters control the generation of the podiums and towers. Let's change the number of floors of the first podium. Change the number of floors for the first tower. And change the twist of the first tower. Next, we change the parameters for the second podium and tower. Each time the models gets regenerated, we can see that the floor areas get updated. When we select the end node, we can see everything merged. 